This lesson is in response to a request from Kalisa from South Africa, and hopefully I've pronounced your name correctly, and they said they need a lesson in sigma notation for algebra. So let's have a look. First thing I have here is a sequence of numbers. Now, sequence is basically just a list. So I've listed the numbers from one, two, three. I've left three dots, and the three dots means that this sequence continues, so four, five, six, etc., all the way to 100. Now, a series is when we add those values together. So one plus two plus three, and again, all the way to 100. Now, using the three dots is quite handy, but still, this is quite awkward to write out these numbers like this. So mathematicians have actually come up with a different way of doing that. And we use something called sigma notation. Now sigma, we use a Greek letter sigma, so that's a capital sigma. We use a letter to represent our index. So if I'm representing these values here, this one to 100 series, I know my first number is one, and my last number is 100. And I'm finding the sum of all those values, in other words, i. So this sigma notation here literally means, let's put i being 1 into here. So 1 plus, so sigma means sum. Next, we increment this value to 2. So put 2 into here, that'd just be 2. Then we put 3 in and then four, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we would go all the way to 98, 99, and the final value is 100. So hopefully that sigma notation is fairly self-explanatory. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to show you six examples of actually putting this into practice. So let's have a look. So this first example here, we have our sigma notation. We know we're going from one, the final number is gonna be three, and this time we are squaring these values. So i is one, we put one into here, so one squared is one. We then put two into here, two squared is four. And just checking, our last value here is three, so three squared is nine. So here we have a total of 14. Onto this second example here, and this time we're starting at zero and going all the way to two. So popping zero in here, zero minus one is minus one. And when we square that, we get one. And to put one into here, one minus one is zero, zero squared is obviously zero. And our final value here is two, two minus one is one, and one squared is one. Adding those together, we get a final answer of two. Third example. Now you can see in this third example, I've actually changed this index letter to K. So we can use any letter we wish, and you will find some books using I, some will use K, some will use different letters. It doesn't matter. This time our little rule is to square K and then subtract two. So one squared is one, one, Take away two gives us negative one. Next value is two, so two squared is four. Four subtract two is two. Then we have to put three in, so three squared is nine minus two is seven. And finally, we put four in, our final value. Four squared is 16 minus two is 14. 14 and seven is 21, 23. So a total of 22. On to the next example, and here we have the rule being i squared minus i. So we put five in first, five squared is 25, minus five is 20. Pop in six in, six squared is 36, minus a six is 30. Then we're gonna put seven in here. Seven squared is 49, and 49 minus seven is 42. Adding those together, we get 50, 92. Next example, two i minus i squared, i being one to start off with. So two multiplied by one is two, minus one squared is one. So two minus one is just one. 
And we put two into here, two twos are four. And then we're going to subtract two squared, which is four. I'll well, give us zero. And we put three into here. So two times three is six. And we're going to be subtracting nine. That'll give me a negative three. And we're going to put four into here. We're going to have eight minus, and we're going to get 16 here. Eight minus 16, that's going to be negative eight. So here we'd have negative 11, and then we're going to add one. So final answer of negative 10. And onto this final example here, we've got four i, i being one to start off with. So four times one is four. Pop in two into here, four twos are eight. Final one would be three, four threes are 12. Final answer on this one is 24. Now, if that lesson was useful, remember to give a thumbs up and also subscribe and click that little notification bell to be notified of any future uploads.